Tonight's question is, what is the coolest way to murder someone? I'm Katie Mervich, and today I'm joined by Reka Shankar. Hello. Adam Conover. Hey! And Raphael Chastain. Hello. Raphael, we'll begin with you. My first answer is boxing match. I think it would be very cool to kill someone in a boxing match. You would be very strong. It's in front of a lot of people. Yes. Totally legal. Even if you died in it, yeah. you'd be a martyr. That's pretty cool. And you go out young and healthy ah, and strong. If yeah. you're the murderer, no one can call you a coward for killing someone in a boxing match. Do people, do a lot of murderers get called cowards? Mm. All the time, every day it happens. Cool. And it's interesting, you both get to be cool. It's a win-win for everyone. I mean, you do die, but. Is it legal? Yeah. Has it happened in history? Has someone died in a boxing match? It happened in Pulp Fiction. Oh, it has oh I know the ones. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's happened in real life. I'm almost positive. Yeah, did anybody mm -hmm. go to it jail? Seems like it. I mean, I, I can't imagine. Did you do right? no research for this? No, I didn't. <laughs> I did zero so are you, research. So are you like beating a person to death or are you like somehow doctoring your gloves? Mm. In my mind, if you use anything extra, then that's cowardly and no longer cool. It's a totally fair boxing match. It was just you punched so hard. Wow. <laughs> that yeah. they, that another professional boxer Right. Yes. Could not take your punch. Yeah, because they would stop you if you like punched them for a long exactly. time. You'd have to have a single punch that's so powerful. Yes, yes. their head they die. evaporates. Yes. A yeah. third level of cool I see is that this person who's the murderer ends up being very good at what they do just by training so hard. Does the other boxer know it's a fight to the death? No, 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 no. <laughs> Nobody knows it's a fight to the death. Not even the guy who <laughs> does the, the killing. If you're the murderer, you punch the person. And you mm. punch them so hard, just their head deflates like yeah. an old basketball. Mm. And then you're just like, oops, too good at boxing. <laughs> yeah. And that's your alibi. Like, I didn't know I was so strong. Adam, please tell us your first idea. My idea is a uh, poisonous cannibal. You, the murderer, mm -hmm. take a very, very strong poison mm -hmm. with like a long half-life. You somehow trick the person into eating your dead body after yes. you die, and then because mm. your flesh is poisoned, uh, they die as a result of eating okay. your poisoned flesh. So wow. two people Just, die. First of all, I feel like it's very fair that if you kill someone, you should die too, because yeah. you shouldn't uh, ask someone to do something you wouldn't do yourself. Right. Yes. So How yeah. do you think you could trick someone into eating you? Uh, the only idea I've had so far, or the best idea I've had, is that if you were to take the poison, right, and then yes. like fall into a big like vat, you know what I mean? You take it oh, like and you like soup. fall backwards ah. into a vat of soup ah. or a chili. A soup Ooh. death. You could kill so yeah. many people. So many yeah. people. Yeah. I don't want to cause a, I don't want to kill dozens of people, but you could with yeah. this method if you wanted. But ideally you'd have a confederate, you know, uh, mm -hmm. an accomplice yes. in yeah. the soup plant who's mm -hmm. gonna make one can of that Yes. And then throw the rest away because mm. you don't yeah. if you don't want to kill other people. But that's up to you at right. that point. I think that soup is a cool death because mm -hmm. I imagine the poison doesn't kill you, but the soup being hot kills you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I personally would take a poison that would I want to take the yeah. poison and then be dead before I hit the oh, soup got because it. Okay. I've always heard that boiling is. Extraordinarily painful way to die. You could also take the poison and then ask someone to, you know, butcher you mm -hmm. and chop you up ah. and then prepare you, you know, and then you've got a whole system to be cooked into food. Mm -hmm. Make a but, burger out of you. But that uh, that relies on a lot of, you know, work from your accomplice. Mm -hmm. They yeah. really have to deal with a lot of mess. Yeah. Uh, that might be emotionally difficult for them because they probably know you pretty well. I don't think that's very cool to put another person through that. No. Mm -hmm. So that's why fall back into the soup and then hopefully it's like a, it's a beef stew. It's yes. a, yes. it's a, um, um, uh, Ropa Vieja, perhaps. It's a yeah. slow braise soup yeah. so yes. that your body disintegrates. Yeah. Someone would have to come by with like a fork and just sort of pull, you know what I mean? Right. Like you do. Like yeah. Just like, pork. yeah, with a, like a pulled pork, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. But that's all that they would have to do. That's so true. And your clothes would have to be taken out uh, afterwards, but that's no different from a bay leaf. Well, yeah. can't you just be mm. naked? Oh, <laughs> you could be naked. <laughs> Perfect. Rika. My idea is spiky sunglasses, mm. okay? When you think of cool, I think of those little drawings you made of the sun growing up that had little sunglasses on it. We all did it. Yes. 
you think of rebels, you think of older brothers and things, and they all have sunglasses on in my head. I don't know about your heads. And I think if you want to kill someone and make them look cool, you stick a pair of spikes on the back of their sunglasses. They put them on. Oh, shit. <laughs> Do they not see the spikes when they're? <laughs> no. Oh, they just, okay. I believe them to be prescription sunglasses. So they, by the time they're on, that's when they can see, but then oh truly they can't. Oh my God, no. <laughs> right? They could also be like, they could be like a monofilament, like nano material. So they're mm -hmm. like, just like they're so, the spikes yes. are so thin ah. yes. that you really only need one, like yes. one like needle and then yes. you put it and you go, like, yeah. This would go through your brain. I can't oh. handle the pick thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that because is it's rough. So it. Yeah, that's cool. It's so, it's so cool. <laughs> they'd leave a cool corpse. The last thing they would have done would yeah. be they'd probably have said something cool. Oh. Like, looks like his goose was cooked. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's definitely some sort of punny like sign off, and then it's cool. everyone around them goes like. Fuck, he looks yeah. so cool. Yeah. And then the next CSI guy look, looks like yeah. he got too much sun glasses. Blah! Yes. And, and they, they keep, keep doing happening. it because they keep wanting to look cool and they're uh, not noticing the pattern yeah, of everybody's eyes bleeding. Yes. My first idea is car crash train wreck. There's a high speed chase. You're in one car, your enemies are in the other car. You shoot out all four of their tires, and they're going so fast that they ram into a, a guardrail, full speed, and they flip, flip, flip over it mm. and down, and they land on train tracks. And a train comes by and just further destroys them. So they're super dead. Mm. Pretty cool. <laughs> How do you engineer this as the murderer? Mm. It sounds like an accident. Mm -hmm. It's not an accident. You know the train guy. And you, <laughs> you have planned out the exact moment you will shoot those little tires out. It's a oh, little you, bit of Maybe you know how it's, you've done this before. It's a little geometry problem. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, okay, yeah. it'll tumble down at this yeah. angle, at this exactly. velocity, yeah. it'll You're reach smart, here at this time. And that's cool. Time. Being good Being at math smart is, is very, actually very, very cool. cool. No, it's cool. If this happened in a movie, that yeah. would be the part where we were like, oh! Yes! Oh, like yes. that. When I came up with this, I was just like, what are the coolest things in the universe? Mm -hmm. And that would be cars, mm -hmm. Train wrecks, <laughs> guardrails, and guardrails, <laughs> and shooting tires. I'm just picturing like a Michael Bay movie. If you shoot the front tires of the car, it usually causes the back of the car to lift off the ground. And so shoot you those. shoot the front, and it goes, and the car like yeah. flips over. You ever see yeah. that happen yes. for no reason? Yes. That's what I want to have happen. I want the car to just flip around a lot. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's it for this preview of The Rank Room. If you enjoyed it, I have fantastic news. There's a lot more of it over on Dropout. So go to dropout.tv and start your free trial today. Okay, I said go. <laughs> okay, fine, stay. Go! Now, the ring of fire blazes in front of you. Oh, there's the ring of fire. It's a stunt race. 